Hello everybody, I'm Mo Salah and today I'm going undercover in the internet. This is actually me. Instagram. William Lott. I wonder what Mo Salah workout routine is. Man is shredded. I work quite a lot in the gym. I think it's kind of workout and also the diet is help a lot. So I'm trying to eat good all the time. I don't do much weight to be fair. I prefer everything with a band. So the resistant and also you work in the muscles really deep and also try to do most of the time core just for warm up or something. As a footballer, you don't need to do much weight because you just, you can't really become big and that's gonna affect your movement in a game. Certainly, you can't vote for Messi or Ronaldo in the Ballon d'Or. Perhaps Mbappé or Salah, but the latter certainly is the best. It's always nice to win it, but it depends what the people is gonna vote for. And for me, I'm just trying to, to always give my best to the team, to win games, to win trophies. But it would be nice one day if I win it. I vote for myself always, but <laughs> I vote for myself always. Guess who? Santa Easter Pony and Tooth Fairy. What can I say about that? I think it was in a preseason. Yeah, but I'm not remember the picture. It was like, I don't know, a few months ago. <laughs> Trent is next to me because I remember and his hairstyle looks similar to mine. And that's Ox. I think that's how Ox walk. Yeah. Reddit. Who needs the right foot when he can hit it with the outside of left foot like that? I think I did it a few times this year and also last couple of years and it was working good. Uh, so I give a couple of assists for the players. It's more natural, like you have control more on it. Most goals by African players in a single Champions League campaign. Do you think there is an argument Salah being African best player ever? I think I said before, it's an opinion for the people. In my head, yeah, I'm gonna choose my, myself, but it's different because some also great player play in different leagues. I'm happy where I am and I'm happy about what I'm doing, which is the most important thing. And just, I need to carry on like that. And Mohamed Salah now has seven assists in the Premier League this season in term, one more than he managed in the whole of last season. I just wonder what changed. I think last season we had a few injuries and the team were not in a top shape. We struggled a little bit in front of the goal. I think nothing has changed. I'm just trying to all the time to give my best for the team. Last season I scored almost 30 goals or something. I give a few assists as well. I'm always trying to give assist if I couldn't score. This season we score more as a team as well. Mohamed Salah is October's Premier League Player of the Month. How many Premier League goals has he scored since he won it in 2018, around 70? Is that was, was the last time I won it? Oh, well, I don't know. You can ask the Premier League, not, not asking me. <laughs> I remember I didn't win it for a long time, but I'm sure I scored a few goals more than anyone. But that question, you just go straight to the Premier League and ask them. Do you have a trophy cabinet in your Yeah, I have one. I have one in my uh, my room, yes. It's always nice to win a award and break records. You work really hard for it. So it's something uh, great and I'm proud of it. Quora. What? Quora? How fast is Musala? Well, I don't know. I just feel I'm fast. I'm trying to use that in the game. Are you the fastest on the team? When there is a ball in the space, I'm the fastest. Virgil is very fast, Sadio is fast, Joe Gomez is very fast, but I'm always choosing myself. <laughs> Mo Salah is undoubtedly the best player in the pitch every weekend, what he's like of the field. When I have time off, I, most of the time I stay with the kids, just play with them. I read also, I play PlayStation sometimes. Yeah, I'm watching a movie with the kids also, watching a movie with the family. So just trying to distract myself and take my mind away from football. Is Klopp the kind of manager who does the pop with his player and hang out with them on the weekend? He's such a cool and down-to-earth guy. <laughs> well, I don't think the manager will hang out with the players. He's cool, but I don't think we go out for dinner or something. I think he has a good relationship with everybody in the team. I think everybody knows he's cool. Yeah, he's a boss, so like we don't, we don't really go out for dinner or lunch now. 
What is the local room like for professional soccer teams? I think we are all different. Some people are really serious, some people are funny. When you play in a top team, you have always strong personality in a team. But I think we have a humble group, which is the most important thing. All of us are cool and nice with the young players, which make their life easier. Wikipedia. In 2006, he joined the youth team of Mukawulun, aged 14, after being spotted by the scout who had originally come to watch another child play, but was distracted by Salah. Yeah, that's right. I think he was watching one of my friends. My friend told me, like, before, let's come and play a small game. For this one scout, he won't come and see me playing. I say, yeah, for sure. So I went with him, and when he watched me, he said, oh, wow. So I just signed for them. I think it was age 14, yeah, or 13, 14, yeah. Salah had to be given a special diet and training program due to that his muscles not being fully formed because of his young age. I said before, I, I try always to eat good and follow my diet to the extreme, I think. I try sometimes to have fun and dark chocolate sometimes, but doesn't happen often. Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. Stephen Welker asked, how do I explain to my grandkids in the future that Salah has called from that position? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how can I help you in that, but... Well, I tried to find just a small space to dribble the ball. It was a good goal. It's an old skill, like, you really do it when you play in the street, but if you didn't play in the street, you couldn't do it. But I think I used my skills to dribble past the players, and yeah, scored a nice goal. It is scores. How many jerseys should Mo Salah get for each game he plays for Egypt? Well, I don't know. I think also for Liverpool also, I have more than two because sometimes the players ask. But for a national team, I think I get also more. But as much as I have, I give it to the players because they, most of them I ask after the games. Sometimes I give them the short as well. Sometimes it sucks, but I'm trying my best. The Redmond TV, is Mo Salah really the best player in the world? Well, I don't know. I said before it's an opinion. So maybe some people say yes, some people say no, but in my head I'm always believe that I'm the best. But it's always an opinion. Did you know that professional Egyptian footballer Mohamed Salah has become the Liverpool highest Champions League goal scorer? He has also become the first Liverpool player to score in nine consecutive matches. I think it's 10, not 9, but... Oh, well, I, I know that I'm the highest goal scorer for the Liverpool. I, I know that. If you ask me personally, yeah, I know that. There is no award for that, but yeah. <laughs> I just record another record. Mohamed Salah will be added to the school curriculum in Egypt. I don't know, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I heard about it. Yeah, I heard about it. And I'm sure there is gonna be a lot of good story that people can write it. Nothing I can say about it, but I just feel uh, something make me proud. Nice feeling. I was in the last seat in, in, in the class, which I don't really believe that when you sit in the back, not really good. <laughs> but yeah, I was, I was calm. I was really calm. That's it, everybody. Thank you for watching. I see you again in the field.